Hey, this is Haley from Nature Box again. Hope you guys are all well. We are actually going to be trying to sex that molt that we had posted on Instagram, which is the Scarlet Bird Eater. Stick around to see how we do it. All right. So, like I said, we are going to be trying to sex this molt. Let's get it out of here. Set this up so that it is down. So, all right. Got to be really careful. Look at those fangs. This is a beautiful, beautiful molt. It's in great shape. And like I said, I'm just looking, so let's take a look. Let's get some better light. There we go. It's a really beautiful molt. All the legs and the fangs. So I've tried my best with trying to untangle this, but you know how it goes with molts. It can be kind of difficult to untangle that. But if you haven't seen the Instagram post, she looks, or it looks absolutely stunning. Um, the black really comes out and the red um, urticating hairs are really, really vibrant. So. So, it does, okay, it's pretty mangled, but yeah. essentially it does look male, because right here, I believe, is where, if it were female, we'd have a little flap where the eggs are inserted, so, because the book lungs would be here and here, but they're kind of gone, and right here, there's no female parts, so. Alright, so we have a male then. Yep. Cool. That's, boy. that's pretty awesome. Sweet. Well, thank you, Elisa, for helping me sex this tarantula. All right, Haley here again. And if you don't know how to do it, so here are the steps to be able to sex a tarantula. So what I did was I wet down a paper towel and then wrung it out so that it was damp. Um, I ended up putting it in a plastic container with a lid so that um, the moisture would stay in there and that makes the molt moist enough or damp enough to be able to work with without breaking it because when they molt it tends to be a little drier um, especially if it sits in the tank for a little while and you can't get a hold of it because I know sometimes my tarantulas do not allow me to grab the molt in a expedient manner so sometimes it can sit in there a while but this particular one was super fresh it had just molted last night so it was really nice to be able to grab it get some pictures of both the beautiful scarlet bird eater and its molt and to be able to film this video and show you how to sex the molt so essentially once you put it in in there and it is damp. I waited probably a few hours and then came back to it. Um, when I opened it up, it definitely is a lot more pliable and easy to work with. I was able to flatten the whole thing out. Um, some of the um, back end was kind of twisted up, which you kind of expect, but um, again, Elisa came over and helped me. As you'll see in the video, um, it, was, it was pretty cool to be able to tell that it was a male. So we have a male scarlet bird eater. Um, this is pretty awesome. So if you liked this video, um, give us a thumbs up, hit the little bell to subscribe um, so you're notified when all of those new videos come up. Um, and again, make sure to subscribe, but I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye!